Hello, my name is Tatsumi, and I'm here today to teach you guys about the British accent. Now, I have to go back to my class. Ah, everyone, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's, it's actually good morning, not morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Alright everyone, since we're already talking about the R in American English, I'll teach you how to pronounce it in the British accent. Okay, Mitsuo, what would you say when you want to rent a car? Can I rent a car? Okay, well that is not correct, but I'll teach you how to correctly say this sentence. Now, we'll look at the IPA transcription for both American and British English. This is the British accent car. Car. Okay, that has no r in the transcription, which means non rhotic. Now, we'll go to the American, which you probably know already, know how to pronounce it, but it's car. Car. Yes, where you have the r sound, which is rhotic. So let's pronounce the British English again. Car. Okay? Car. Okay. I think you guys got it now. Now, we'll move on to the next word. Okay, now, you know how to pronounce car and morning. But do you know how to pronounce thirsty? No. Thirsty. Mm, you still have the R. You're getting close though. Thirsty. 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 Close. It's a very, very difficult one, but you'll get a hang of it. Thirsty. Thirsty. Okay, now we'll talk about the vowels in British English. Number two, we'll look at the near low front unrounded vowel a eh, and low back unrounded vowel a. Ah. For example, um, have you ever heard the way British people pronounce can't? Yes, I have. I know there is a difference, but I can't. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. In British English, can't. Is pronounced can't. So instead of doing this, you're doing the low back arm roundabout ah. So, as you can see from this chart, the positioning of the vowels on this chart indicate where the tongue is in the mouth. For the near low arm roundabout ah, the mouth is open and the tongue is relatively low. The mouth is open for the back low arm roundabout as well. But the tongue position is more back than for the near low unrounded vowel a. Eh. This diagram shows that the tongue can position anywhere in the mouth according to how front and back the tongue is, or how low or high the tongue position is in the mouth. Ah, class. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's, oh, you got it right. All right, today we'll be learning about path and path, the difference, the different vowels they use. Okay, so, it's so, can you try pronouncing these two words in the British accent? Path. Path. Mmm, you're doing the American uh, accent, but it's okay, it's difficult, and I'll teach you how to pronounce this correctly in British English. Now, as you can see from this chart, there's a distinction between the two vowels were used. In the general American, it's eh, which is what you said, pat, pat. 
and pad, pad, right. Now, on the other hand, in RP, in British accent, it's pad, that's the same, but this is pa, pa, pad, pa. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. But it's okay. We'll get used to it. It's a it, it, Is that is that a, a phone I see? We're, we're learning about the British English here. Okay, let's pay attention. All right. Now, as we can see from the IPA vowels chart, we can see that pat and pa uses two different vowels. In RP, pat uses the uses the front near low unrounded vowel, whereas pa uses the back low unrounded vowel. Pat. Path. differences between Mary and Mary and Mary in British English. Mary, Mary, Mary? No, listen, like, the first one is for Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and the next one is for, like, marriage, and the last one is a name of a person. Can I propose to you? What? What are you saying? Mary, Mary. No! What? What? <laughs> Wait a minute, Edsel. Did you just propose to Rui in my class? Come on, let's, let's not do that in my class. But it's okay, it's okay. But I was listening to your conversation, and Rui is right. I've got this chart for you. They all have different vowels used in British English. We'll look at each one of the vowels. First one. Mary. Mary. Yes. Mary is this vowel, and it's this vowel is front, low, mid, unrounded vowel. If you look at the chart, it's over here. Now, can you pronounce Mary again? Mary. 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 Okay. Next one. Mary is this vowel. This vowel is Front, near, low, unrounded vowel. Mary. 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 So it's kind of, do you know the word cat? Cat, cat. has the same vowel. Oh. So try saying cat. 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 Mary. Mary. Cat. Mary. Cat. Mary. Yes. Ah, I got oh, I'll go, go back to Mary. 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 Okay. I think you, you're, you're getting there. Next. The last one is Mary. This is a diphthong, as you can see. And this is front, closed, mid, unrounded vowel. Mary. 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 Right. Alright, class. Today's class is over. Hope you have a great Merry Christmas. I hope you will have a nice Merry Christmas. <sighs> to Merry Christmas instead of Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. No, you Merry are Christmas. wrong. You are doing wrong. Merry Christmas. Stop it. <laughs> Merry Christmas. No, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh. Oh, you. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> the next point I would like to show you guys is the pronunciation of the tip. Now, imagine you are in a restaurant, you are thirsty, and you want to get some water. What would you say to the waiter in this situation? Waiter, excuse me? Hi, what can I help you? Um, can I get some water? Oh, can I get some water? What did you say? I want some water. What, 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 what? If only she had studied the British accent.
Okay, great. What do you do in your mouth when you say the word water in the American accent? Water. Um, is it alveolar flap? Like Japanese flat? Yes, yes. Alveolar flap. Which looks like this. You can produce an alveolar flap by touching your blade of the tongue to the alveolar ridge and gently just tap or skim the alveolar ridge, producing a more relaxed sound than an alveolar stop. So now, this is the alveolar flap for American accents. But in the British accent, we actually pronounce it with the T, which is an alveolar stop. So when you pronounce the T, you're making a complete closure between your tongue and alveolar ridge. Or you can also do the glottal stop, which does not look like that, which looks like a question mark. That you pronounce it with water. 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 So this alveolar stop is water. But this glottal stop is pronounced water. 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 Yes. Now, this pronunci pron pronunciation is usually occurred among young students, like you guys. So, maybe you guys can get a hang of it. Let's practice water. 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 Uh, excuse me, waiter. Yes, I'm big bird. What can I help you? Um, can I get some water? Sure, water. <laughs> Good morning, class. Good morning. Today, we'll be talking about the pronunciation of what in British English. Now, Rui, can you pronounce the, this sentence? Where can I eat fish and chips in British uh, English? Where can I eat fish and chips? Mm, it's actually not where, it's actually where. Where? With a voiced labial velar approximant. You are doing the voiceless labial velar fricative, where. But it's actually where in British English. Mm. But this is only, this is very old fashioned and it's, it's com it comes from the Southern American or Conservative American pronunciation. So some or many American people actually pronounce it with the w, the voice level will be the approximate, mm -hmm. but in case in the case of old fashioned, it's pronounced where in American and where in British English. Where? Where can I get some fish and chips? Where can I eat fish and chips? Perfect. Let's practice some sentences that we learned today. Come on. Okay. Good morning, Rui. Good morning. Where can I get some fish and chips? Yes, please, but I'm quite thirsty. May I have a cup of water? Sorry, I can't get you water. Sorry. See ya! Bye! <laughs> Good luck! Make sure to use what you've learned! Bye! Bye. Oh, it's all! I forgot my computer! <laughs> See ya!